so coming to the result and discussion section of the effect of the drugs on the blood pressure and heart rate of the dog so in this experiment only we have seen the three drugs and only we have seen the what is the effect on the blood pressure for for better understanding we will discuss the what is the effect of the different drugs on the heart rate as well as the blood pressure of the dog and if the same model if we are using the different drugs what type of activity it will show now coming to the epinep uh, adrenaline or epinephrine this is the adrenergic drug so it stimulates the alpha and beta adrenergic receptor conventional dose it will increase the bp followed by short fall before reaching the basal level biphasic response due to the alpha and beta receptor response what does it mean it is acting on the both alpha and uh, beta adrenergic receptor now what will happen generally you can say that when it is acting on the alpha receptor due to the contraction uh, uh, in the heart and uh, stimulation in the heart there is a increase into the blood pressure but as it is acting on the beta 2 also it will cause uh, because uh, what we can observe in the case of it will cause the relaxation of the uh, uh, that is blood uh, veins and it will cause the depletion of the blood pressure so uh, that's why you can say that the, there is the increase into the blood pressure followed by the decrease into the blood pressure so that is you can say that biphasic response due to the alpha and beta receptor response but heart rate generally decreasing due to the vagal reflux so vagal reflux due to that heart rate it will be decreased but if you are talking about the blood pressure first there will be increase followed by there will be the decrease next is norepinephrine now norepinephrine it is again uh, adrenergic uh, neurotransmitter noradrenaline it, it is a stimulates mainly alpha and beta 1 receptor clear it is mainly stimulate alpha and beta 1 uh, thing and what we can observe that heart rate is generally reduced due to the vagal reflex in response to the increased blood pressure so blood pressure will be increased clear blood pressure it will be increased due to the alpha and beta receptor but due to this vagal reflex it will be increasing and heart rate it will be reduced if we are giving the norepinephrine so this is also a important observation clear this is the blood pressure is increasing blood heart rate is reducing here blood pressure increase followed by decrease blood heart rate increase next is isoprenaline isoprenaline again adrenergic drug so it is increasing the systolic bp uh, sometimes it may be remain unchanged also so systolic bp it is increasing but decrease into the diastolic bp but diastolic bp it will reduce because there is a decrease is more pronounced uh, pronounced than the increase so the effect of uh, this isoprenaline when it is acting on the beta the decrease is more compared to the increase so Uh, you can say that generally there will be the mean blood pressure it will be decreasing so mean arterial pressure typically falls decreases clear so this three are the related to the adrenergic drugs next is acetylcholine whenever we are giving the acetylcholine intravenously it leads to the sharp fall in the bp why the sharp fall in the bp because we know that it will act on the m2 receptor and uh, m2 is uh, responsible for the hyperpolarization when acetylcholine binds so it will uh, you can say the sharp fall into the blood pressure but it will react into the base cell quickly because again the reflex uh, system so it generally re reduces the heart rate small dose may generally leads to the reflex tachycardia that means in the small dose it will reduce the heart rate but reflex action it will be activate and it will cause the tachycardia sudden increase it will be there so that also we can observe but uh, generally uh, whenever we are giving that this drug it will reduce the blood pressure and heart rate coming to the atropine it is anticholinergic drug it is act as a muscarinic cholinergic antagonist so it will completely antagonize the effect of the acetylcholine clear it is completely antagonizing the effect of the acetylcholine so in the conventional dose may not have uh, produce uh, the much effect because it may not be block the muscarinic receptor properly but 
if we are increasing the drug it will block the muscarinic receptor and we can find that tachycardia also so that also it is possible so that is with the atropine coming to the propanolol propanolol is a beta blocker it is a non selective beta blocker and it is very useful as a hypertensive medication uh, so this beta blocker reduces the blood pressure as well as the heart rate because it is acting on the beta receptor it is a beta blocker uh, non selective that means it is blocking the alpha 1 uh, uh, sorry beta 1 and beta 2 it affects the beta component of the other drug class though uh, through the renin you can tell that uh, because it uh, beta is resp also responsible for the renin uh, so that renin release it will increase the blood pressure that is fine but that uh, you can say that uh, it is also cause the uh, block uh, you can uh, means uh, as it is blocking the renin release okay? it will block the renin release because it is a beta adrenergic blocker so renin is responsible for what long term regulation of the blood pressure so blood pressure it will fall down and of course through the beta 2 it may produce the contraction but that effect is not that much prominent so ultimately propanolol reduces the blood pressure and heart rate so from this i think you can understand how the drugs are acting what is the effect of these different drugs and how they produce the different effect now about all this type of the drug though we have seen about the practically you have seen the three drugs but you should know that what type of effect the drug is produced you should find the other drugs also uh, on the heart clear so perform the experiment understand the effect of the different drugs on the uh, dog heart clear thank you